What is up, folks? This is Ericast, and welcome back to Dark Souls 2, Scholar of the First Sin. So, uh, we have been skipping a few areas, and I would like to go ahead and go back and visit them. Because they have some good stuff in them, or at least they used to. I don't know if they do now or not. So, let's start off... Hmm. To be honest, I'm afraid of that dragon. <laughs> if I can get to the dragon. Um... I really need a good weapon before I go back here, and to do that, I think I am going to go ahead and repeat uh, Dark or Brightstone Cove Saldora, because there's a really awesome weapon to use there if you use magic. So, yeah, I'm probably going to do that. Alright, so, where I want to go first, actually, do I want to die a lot in PvP? Hmm. I'll go here first. Even though, with this area, I'm sure I'm going to die even more than I would if I went to the other one, so. <laughs> of course, it is pretty early in the morning, so who knows. I don't know. And actually, I didn't want to go to this bonfire. I wanted to go to... This one. It's a little bit shorter this way, I think. At least there's really nothing to fight until I get to that area. So let's go ahead and go this way. And again, not going to go after that. Just because it's annoying. I have to die over and over again. Which is something you should get used to in the game. And there's that runner again over there. Maybe you saw him take off. Okay, that's actually that's pretty good. Now, I do have this weapon upgraded quite a bit. It's upgraded to plus eight. So it's one of those, well, I don't really have many modifiers for it. I mean, I don't have like strength and agility. So it's pretty much what I need to use my shield and that's just about it. Um, but it does have a plus eight modifier on it. So that's helpful. And I'm going to poison dropped on my head, but that's okay. Alright, so I'm just going to use Soul Arrows to start off with. Unless, it looks like you've just changed position. Unless you actually kill him. I heard the footsteps coming up behind me and there's that sneaky guy up on that. Alright, um... Oh, that was bad. Don't... Mm. I say, I should not have tried to cast like that. Now, that's the guy I was looking for. This guy used to be up there on the road, on the cliff. The other guys down here? This area was already kind of difficult to begin with. I'm leveled way past it, though. Oh, hello. You're what I think you are. You're kind of hard to see. Oh, dear. Not good. I didn't expect you at all. Of course, that's exact. Ow! That's exactly why you were there. Alright. Definitely using an Astro's Blast. <laughs> but yeah, I did not expect that skeleton. Alright. I figured there would be something else around here, but I didn't figure it would be that. Notched Whip. Something I will probably not use, but... I like picking up, ne nevertheless. Alright. So, probably going to need binoculars if they're the same way that they used to be. Yep, and they are. Alright, so let's go ahead. Anything down below? Didn't look like it. Oh, you're going to drop down anyway. Without me needing the key. Oh, you've got a lot of foils. Okay. So, let's just use a life gem. Because I'm probably going to, well, I might need the other. Alright, if you go too far forward, they'll just start jumping down. And, oh, okay. And this guy's the whip version, which you really need to watch out for. Of course, you have to watch out for the other ones, too, but these guys will absolutely murder you if you don't know your, their attack patterns. Alright, so the question is... I don't think, to answer that question, I don't know that my spells are going to reach. Yeah, they're not. 
And I don't want both of them to jump down at the same time. Okay, good. Come along, then. Come along. Oh. Okay, I might just attack with this sword. Oh, especially if you're going to show your back to me. I didn't get the backstab, but... Um, is there a guy going to jump down from there? Yes. Okay, well, looks like he saw me looking at him. Oh, and this is one of the... I don't really know what to call that. I mean, it's a pole arm of some type, but it's kind of strange. Right, I see you up there. You're not hiding from anybody. Can I hit him? A little too far. Oh, I think he's alert to my presence. And there we go. Come on. Oh, he's a whip one. And he's dead. Alright. That should be all of them. Yeah. So, the first time that you go through this area, you're probably just going to run in despite the blood stains and be like, you'll be probably be pretty cautious, but not nearly cautious enough. <laughs> I know I did. I was, you know, just kind of moseying along, but, you know, really watching it, keeping my shield up. And as you can see, all the blood stains here, there's something nasty waiting up here for us. Um, yeah, he's still there. Okay, so I'm going to have to use my herbs on this one, because this guy is absolutely terrible. So you can see that big heavy shield he's got there. Um, but yeah, and you'll get murdered. <laughs> because they'll jump down multiple at a time. Oh! Uh. Where the heck did you guys come from? They might have been hanging off the edge. I will get that after I kill the boss. Because, knowing my luck, I'll probably just jump over and try to get it. Oh, there's something down there, too. Is that an area now? Huh. Oh, I know where we are. I've never actually realized that this is where we are. Okay, so that that's the area that we came up through. Neat. So the bonfire that we just spawned at is like right above my head. Uh, you can't really see it, but it's right there. And the bridge is going over. And that's the other bridge, the big bridge that we lowered earlier. Neat. Okay. Bonfire head. Yes, there is a bonfire head, but there's a boss between there, <laughs> here and there. Uh, we'll give me two. That should be fine. Hopefully, anyway. Um, yeah, I'm gonna want my sword out. It takes too long to cast spells. All right, let's do this. I hate this boss. This is one of the worst bosses. <laughs> Alright, so first things first, we go and hide. <laughs> that is the only way to survive. And hopefully these guys will get hit by the chariot. Yep, awesome. Not killed, but I can't kill them just yet. And I don't have... okay. So there's these guys that you have to go around to kill first. Because if you don't, every time you kill these guys, they're just going to res which is very unfortunate. So the first one is on the outside. The second one is on the inside. And the third one I think is on the outside again. Or in yeah. Okay. So that's those dead. The problem is, these guys can completely deplete your stamina and not get killed. Okay, so there's only two, I guess. So I want to kill these guys before 
I use that lever. So I'll turn back here. And actually, this is going pretty well. Much better than it usually does for me. Alright, let's pull the lever. So there's only two of them. I thought there was three. Alright, well, let's bring our spells up. And the charioteer is going to crash. And I'm not going to do much damage. Oh. Okay. So the key is to stay somewhat close to him, usually. But not too close, because those breath attacks are dark damage. So. He has a back kick, so you don't want to stay behind him. But if you can stay beside him, it's usually pretty okay. Yeah, like that. <laughs> Oh, I probably shouldn't have gassed there. Oh, oh, it's okay. I don't want to have too little stamina, though. Ow. Okay. And let's just switch to sword. A sword does almost as much damage as... Oh, I'm not good. My shield up. Alright. Alright, so that wasn't too bad, actually. But if you attack him when you're supposed to like well let's say when you're supposed to if you attack him in the sequence of bosses he is super hard to do uh, these guys will usually deplete your stamina completely really quickly and you'll just die so I would recommend waiting a little while um, I seem to remember there being more skeletons but I guess that could have changed. As you can see, there's blood stains all over the place. This guy is not easy. Even though I just kind of made it look a little bit easy. I think I... I don't know. I kind of feel a little bit bad because I've played this game a lot. And I mean a lot. I can't count the number of playthroughs that I've done because I don't know. Um, but I've done pretty much every spec you can ask for and done it through... I don't know, I think I got up to like New Game Plus 7 before I finally stopped playing on one of my characters. And that was just because I ended up doing other things, but... Yeah, so... Needless to say, I've had a good deal of experience playing the game and playing the bosses, so... In general, I kind of make them look easy when they're really, really not. <laughs> and that makes me feel a little bad, but... Also kind of makes me feel like I don't know what I'm talking about when I say this game is actually fairly difficult. <laughs> Alright. So, the bonfire. And this guy over here has a covenant. And he's kind of crazy, but we're not going to talk to him right now because I don't really want to join his covenant. Um, and these statues are ways to play against other people of that covenant. And you can... Uh, have a nice, fun killing time. Uh, because it is a PvP covenant, so. What's, what's up with that? Um, do I want to spend my souls first? Because if I decide that I don't want to do that over and over again, I think I'll. Mm, yeah, that'll be fine. There's a lot of messages in this. Okay. No, the real fight doesn't. Be well, actually, I guess it kind of does. Considering that is a PvP covenant, and PvP is much harder than the bosses, <laughs> in general. Uh, not always, but... I'll have to put out of the door. Yeah, the biggest thing about this guy is just don't get hit by the chariot. Um, and this place is actually kind of... I mean, yeah, it's, it's grim just to look at it, but... So the chariot, the horse is the one that, as you might have guessed, is the one that's actually in control. So the charioteer is just kind of along for the ride. Alright, let's see if we can jump over here. Okay. Fire seed. So that uh, ends up um, upgrading. I'm trying to think of the right word. It upgrades your 
flame, your pyromancer's flame. So I'm just going to use a homeward bone because I don't want to have to run back all over again after I already went and got the souls. But yeah, so the chariot, um, charioteer is basically just along for the ride. And this arena is was set up by one of the previous kings to kill over and over the corrupted, I guess you would say. Uh, the people corrupted by that weren't human per se anymore although what is human um, in this game is kind of oblique I guess you could say um oh I was like why am I not moving at all all right so let's go ahead and spin these souls but yeah it's it's a pretty dark place even worse than the Bastille just because of the fact that you know, it was set up to torture those who were, who were no longer human but undead. And the necromancers were there to bring them back to life so they could die over and over again. Alright, so. I knew you'd be around soon. Go on, show me what you've got. Oh. I was thinking about upgrading this again, but I don't know if I have the material, so I want to check. I do. But do I want to spend that many Titanite chunks on it? That's the question. I don't really know that I do. I'm just going to wait. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so let's go talk to Shinawat. Bearer of the curse. Level up. Alright, so we're still trying to get this up. Do we have enough? Yes, we do. We have enough to go ahead and upgrade that to it's to 50. With the hood, it's 50. Which, the the hat that I'm wearing increases your intellect by 2, so. That will be enough. So, this weapon, which, uh, not that one, uh, this one is, oh yeah, I actually upgraded Upgraded it to plus three. Nice. Alright, so it has S scaling, so which is even better. So, 234 plus 175. Very, very nice. It's going to hit a whole lot harder. Alright, so let's go ahead and... Where do we want to go now? Do we want to go here? I really don't. I mean, I really, really don't. But, we will. Alright, Servant's Quarters. Let's go. There's also... Alright, so this is the Belfry Luna. Uh, and, I imagine, you know, Belfry of the Moon. So, there's also the Belfry Soul. Which, oh, there's a dog down here, isn't there? Where are you? Does it not respawn? I guess it might not. Because I remember getting attacked last time I came down here. Huh, well I don't see it. Alright, so let's go ahead and use our fer uh, ferris lock zone. But yeah, we'll definitely go to the Belfry Soul later too. But Probably after this one actually. If I can get through here in a decent manner. Alright, so we're just going to ignore him for now. He will invite you to join his covenant, which is the uh, the Bell Protector Covenant. Um, and actually, I might just run past all these guys. Ow. I can't run... Ow. Okay. I can't run past the guys up here because I need... Well, I guess I could kite them around. I'm not getting invaded, which is very surprising. As you can see, this staff is really long. But that comes into what I was talking about earlier. With you casting past or above. Um, Alright. So I shouldn't get invaded at this point, I don't think. That will open the gate. Okay. 
That was over that fog door. That's down below us. And there it opens. Oh, hello. Thought there was one more of these guys up here. At least one more. These guys have dark enchants on their um, weapons. So they hurt a lot. Because it's not likely that you have any protection against dark. There are some clothes that can... Oh, great. Actually, that wasn't what I meant to do. Let's see if ringing this bell will make him go away. I guess not. Unfortunate. There he is. Where'd he go? Maybe he didn't... Alright, where are you? Oh, there he is. He's standing over by the door. Alright, so one of them's a caster. With dark enchant. Darn it. I, well, they definitely know where I am now. Oi, I don't want to fight you. <laughs> and this is the problem, though. It's 2v1 always. So, if you wait long enough, another one of them will come along. And unfortunately... There's the other guys down there. <laughs> so he's trying to throw poison knives at me, and he's having the same problem that I am. So, <laughs> they want to fight me? They can come up here. <laughs> oh, you've got to be kidding me. There's three of them? Or did one of them leave? One of them might have left. Alright, so this is... Oh, he's going to come up. Goodbye. Oh, but I hit the other guy, too. Alright, so this is probably going to take a little while. So... Oh, I got a tight night trunk. Nice. What? I guess I'll stick around. So he's definitely a very heavy guy. Oh, man, the other guy's here. Ow. And these guys are made for PvP. Because they're taking, like, no damage. Oh, great. Yeah, I'm dead now. Ah, yeah. Alright, well I killed one of them, which is actually a little bit surprising, but I'm trying to get to the boss afterhand, which is something that I don't really like about this. Uh, the Belfry Soul is a little bit better about this because you don't necessarily have to go that way. Um, you do if you want to get one of the best weapons in the game, but um, I think there should be areas set aside for PvP that don't require you to, uh, you know, do PvP, or you don't have to go through them to get to PvP areas, which is unfortunately the way that this is, and I'm just going to ignore those souls that I got, but I think that's probably the reason that they moved uh, where the, the key was um, to get the center's doors opened up. Let's go ahead and go through the fog door. Alright, so this is a nasty fight that everybody probably hates a lot.
Alright, yeah, I know you're gonna swoop and attack on me, and unfortunately it hit me. Alright, so I wanted to go here. Oh, nice. Alright, so let's cast at you. And unfortunately, alright, since they're all on the same health pool, they summon new gargoyles at the uh, at health points along the way. So it doesn't matter if technically you could have all the gargoyles up at the same time, which would be really unfortunate. Now I've got three. All right, so that should be an okay heal, which it wasn't. Let's see if I can kill you that way. I'm gonna have to fight three. Oh, and you did a flame breath at me. I was hoping to be able to stagger them, but <laughs> you can't really stagger these guys. They're made of stone. What am I thinking? Alright, you Alright, this guy's lower health, and I think this is the last gargoyle that's going to be. Oh, please. Cast. Alright, now they're both the same health. Yeah, he's trying to get behind me, but I backed up a little too quickly. So this boss is kind of stressful just because you have to fight multiple ones. And uh, kill that one. Oh, he's not one. Alright, good. Usually after you get them below half health or so, they'll start casting fire. Which by themselves is not a big deal. But when there's a bunch of them together, when you have two or three up, then it is. Still a proud knight, not bad. Alright, so I've got 30,000 souls. Do I want to go back up there? <laughs> no. Alright, let's get what's over here first. Do we have to drop down? Yes, we do. So the question is, do I want to go try and retrieve those souls? No. I actually hadn't yet decided um, the answer to that question, <laughs> even though it kind of sounded like I did. Uh, and the reason... I'm not going to is because... Oh, Southern Ritual Ban. Nice. Um, the reason is... I don't want to risk losing 30,000 for 13. So... Lots of bloodstains around here. Now, I have learned... You don't want to go down there... Until you've spent your souls. And the reason is... Oh, the reason... Well, you will see in a minute. Alright, so let's Bearer go ahead and spend what we can. Seek, seek. Alright, so level up. And what do I want to put it into? Hmm. I only get one level. I can get a level and, a, and almost two. Do I want to go ahead and start leveling up this stuff? Or do I want to put it... Let's put it into Endurance. Alright, and see what kind of souls I have. I should have enough of these smaller ones. Um, let's see about this one. I think that's enough. I think it was, what, I need 15 something? Lest this. Let's see. I should have looked beforehand, but I didn't. Yeah, 15 7, so this is plenty. Alright, so let's go ahead and level that up to 2. And that should be good. Alright, so confirm. Yes. Alright, so let's go ahead and go to the same place that we were that last bonfire, not the tower part. Straight cell. What? Oh, Belfry Luna. Right. I forgot it had its own separate thing. Take a drink of my honey and green tea. Alright, so this area. I've probably died here. Alright, you see, that's the problem. There's four, five, six dogs, and you get invaded on top of that. So, let's go ahead and move down fast. Alright, and basically you want to kill as much as you can before they all 
try to gang up on you because once they're all ganged up on you, it's bad news. And focus the dogs down. You don't want to focus him down where you still got dogs up. Alright, see where that is? Actually, no, you get the key from him, I think. Dragon's Tooth here, really. Didn't expect that. I probably could parry him, but I'm really bad at parrying. So I'll just do a backstab. And... Maybe one of these? Can I get it off before he... Yes, awesome. Alright, so made that look easy again, but that is actually a really nasty area. Those dogs actually didn't gang up on me quite as quickly as they have on in the past. Usually they're right on top of me as soon as I get down the ladder. And then at that point, you have to figure out some way of, you know, trying to escape them while well, not dying. Because as soon as you're out of stamina, and, you know, they'll immediately stagger you, and then that's it. Alright, so as far as the other areas go, we have, what? We have the Belfry Soul, which is down here in the Iron Keep, which I do want to do. Um, and we have the Doors of Pharos. Those are the two areas that I can think of off the top of my head that we haven't done yet. We went back and got the area in Force of the Fallen Giants, so that's not really a big deal. Oh, and we also have uh, Hyde's Tower of Flame. So, we'll go ahead and take care of that at some point. Um, but let me go ahead and take a quick break, and then we'll be right back. Alrighty, folks, so I think I've decided I do want to go ahead and give Hyde's Tower of Flame a shot in the next video. <laughs> so, we have run up, up against that time that we need to stop for today so until then i do hope you enjoyed the video and i hope you have a wonderful day